So here we are, I've got our pyjama front and a lot of people struggle with this one so the video is going to be very useful. If you find the collar piece that you got, that you made earlier, what we are going to do is pop that under there. Then we're going to sew it. This is the shoulder. Just a half a centimetre, just a small, small, small hem, uh, seam there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold that up and we're going to fold it over just like so. And we're going to keep the shoulder line intact. I haven't quite caught mine in the bottom, but you will. And then what we're going to do is top stitch that down to enclose it inside. And if you can't get yours going, you can pull on the thread. Or just make sure your works on the feed dogs would be much better, wouldn't it? No need to back tack. So that's our collar on. We're going to do the same on the other side. So here's my other front. Here's my other collar. This is where you find out you haven't got two that are opposite to each other. Right, so remember, collar goes on the table, pyjama goes on top. Mine's been a bit naughty, because I didn't iron it. It's exactly what it's complaining about. narrow hem there just I wonder how you know all these bits are cutting off I wonder how what percentage of the cotton reel actually just gets popped in the, in the trash probably 20% mm, what do you think so these are the ramblings of my mind. So I folded it over and now if like me you've got a little piece here, you can just tuck that in and it'll be fine. There we are. So that is our collar on. That's the bit that most people struggle with. So that's absolutely brilliant. We are sorted. And then that one goes over that one. And then when we've got our buttons on, it looks absolutely beautiful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew the shoulder seams to join the front of the pyjama top and the back of the pyjama top together. And then we're going to stitch from, uh, we're going to stitch from the neck to the wrist. So here's my pyjama back. Don't forget it is still in three pieces. So if we turn that over, what we want to do is catch that top of that collar in our seam. So we're gonna use a, a one centimeter seam allowance. Ta-da! And we're gonna go from top to bottom. We are gonna back stitch here, do a back tack. Over the ribbons, neaten those up, do the opposite to the same to the opposite side. Now you want to neaten this with either your pinking shears, overlocker, or a zigzag stitch. Guess which one I'm gonna do. 
for speed and take out some of the bulk in the seam. I am pinking mine. Right. So when you've done the other side, you can see what we need to do now is we need to do this under part here. So starting at the cuff, one centimetre seam allowance. Just come up to one centimetre past here, past the um, underarm. Put your needle into your work, lift the foot, and then you can swivel to your heart's content. So if you pop the needle uh, in, sorry, and the foot back down, then just carry on. Back tack at the bottom. Now what we've created here, at this, part, at this junction here, is we've created a part of the fabric that if we turn it the right way around now, I'll show you, does not sit nicely. See, it's all bunched up. Now the instant fix for that is if we turn it back inside out, whenever we have an interior angle, and by an interior angle, I mean one that goes in rather than one that goes out. Uh, okay. We take our little scissors and we cut almost, almost, almost into that corner stitch. And that allows it to pivot. So what I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm just going to neaten these seams as well. Crash bang wallop. Just going to neaten these seams. And then if I remove the clutter, when we turn this the right way out, you will notice a huge difference. Well, that's the plan. Do you see how automatically that's just now laying flat? And that's all because we've allowed the seam of the corner to move. We've allowed the fabric to part on the inside. So do that for the opposite side. And then all that's left to do on the rest of these is to do the hems on the cuff. So to do the cuff, you want to turn one centimetre in all the way round and iron. And then a second centimetre all the way round and iron it down. And then you're just going to stitch that. So we've got our cuffs done. And now the next thing is we're going to do exactly the same on the bottom. So just iron one centimetre up on the hem, another centimetre up, and then or literally, if you've got clips, which I know you have because somebody's been very thoughtful and given them to you in this pack, then this is a great time to use your dolly clips. They're so useful. I use them for paperwork even. I've just, I've been known to hold a dress together at a wedding with them. Um, don't ask me why I had a handbag full, but that's the sort of thing that happens when you're a crafter, isn't it? So we'll just continue to pop those in. If you don't have the clips, which I know you do, come on. If you don't have the clips, then you can just continue pinning it. But what, when that's in, all you're gonna do is pop it under the machine, close to this folded edge here, and get your hem on. It's always good to stop with your needle in the work. Fabulous. So that is our pyjama top done. Now I'll put the other side on mine, repeat again, and then finish off my hem. And that'll be a beautiful pair of pyjamas. Follow the video for how to make a one step buttonhole that's below. It is taken from um, our how-to series, so it doesn't feature the pyjamas actually themselves. Mm -hmm.